Hi everybody, welcome back to Rose Balling with Art of Lisa. I hope you are all having a wonderful day today. So I would like to do another video uh, on base coating and really it's on base coating plates. Uh, wooden plates that is because rose modeling as much as other decorative arts is really done on wood So I have a few samples here. We do a lot of stuff. I do a lot of wedding plates and um, Baby plates and such like that. So here we have a nice Hollingdahl style asymmetrical now. This is wood All right, everything is done on wood. Like I said, that's a 12 inch. Here is a lovely us style uh, done on a 14 inch plate. Now rose modeling is a wonderful art form that has a minimum of 15 styles because uh, Norway is a very mountainous country. And uh, when the decorative arts, the Rococo, the, the Cantus leaves and such came up into Norway, it spread into all these different valleys and developed all these great little styles. Um, that we all enjoy to do if you're a rose mauler. And if you're not a rose mauler, well, welcome. Anyway, so another style. Well, here's a, a uh, telemark uh, outside of that. And I do a lot of scenes also, so this is fun. My daughter calls this Neverland. So this is her piece that I'm keeping for her. And one last example today is the free-flowing telemark style. This is a 16-inch plate. Oops, it's upside down. It's a great plate, and um, some of you may have seen this before if you ever go on Gift Chalet Auburn. Uh, I have a licensing contract with them, so they able to uh, take my work and kind of put it on other things. Anyway, so today I am working on a 16-inch plate. Here we go. And this is what it looks like to start. Nice, plain, little plate. And I just want to show you how I base coat it so you have an idea. And uh, let me put you guys down here and set you up. Once again, I'm at my handy dandy table out in the main part of my um, basement. I'm losing words today. I've been a little sick, so I'm a little foggy in the brain. <clears throat> and uh, my voice is a little off today. So this is a Nordic style plate. It has an inner bead and an outer bead. These you can get through Hofcraft. Uh, there's also wonderful woodworkers um, online that you can reach out to get these wonderful plates. Again, wood. So let's get started. Today I'm using Joe Sonia Brand, which I typically like to use by Chroma, and I am working with Galaxy Blue. All right, Galaxy Blue there. Now I have added, or I've put it in here, and in order to seal this, I can use two, one of two products. I can either add all-purpose sealer to the paint or clear glaze medium to the paint. I typically use the clear glaze, but I also use the all-purpose. It depends on my day. Um, I'm not a stickler to about every single thing I need to do. So now here's my back of my plate that I want to work with. And in order to do both the back and the front, I have this handy dandy wooden base that my father had made for me that has three nails in it. And this is what I'm going to use on the back of this so I can flip it over and paint the other side. All right, simple one inch brush. And I am just going to dive in here. And I'm really kind of pushing the paint into the wood itself. I'd like to make it so that I can do just two coats. Now, I should mention that these turned plates really come in beautiful shape. So there's really hardly any, if no, sanding that you need to do prior. Though you should take a moment and actually make sure that you get any dust off of it. I should have mentioned that. Okay, here I'm out of the focus there. All right, so that is something I did do prior. To this so let's get our way around the plate here all right so anybody who's going to do decorative arts or any sorts of arts um, especially with wood plates come in very handy it's nice because it's such a great piece that you can put on the wall it makes great gifts um, it's just fun to paint on and there's so many different things you can do with it all right, so I'm gonna work my way around and notice I'm just following. 
I want to make sure I don't have any clumps. Again, this is acrylic paint, so it will dry fast. I want to make sure I come around the outside of that bead there. All right, and keep working my way around. All right. Now, I hope you guys are enjoying the different videos that I've put out, and if you do, please feel free to subscribe so you get any new videos as they come. I cover a wide variety of stuff. You know, I'm working on brush strokes, I work on prep work, I paint just to show how to paint in rose modeling. Um, it is something that I truly love to do and I've been very fortunate to start uh, at a young age. All right, so here's our plate. Back is done. Here's our wood. I'm simply going to do this, push it in. Flip it over, and look at that. I have the other side. Let me back you up a little bit here. Now I have more paint. I actually mixed it in here, so then I can just pour it into my little container. And this is, I think this was perhaps the top of a, of a, oh no, a yogurt container or something like that. I'm very good about reusing um, the applesauce containers or yogurt containers. Uh, they just make for great reusable uh, vessels for mixing paint. All right, so again, now I'm holding down the center of this plate because I don't want it to flip off. And I'm really just pushing that paint into the wood. I want to really get it into the pores of the wood. All right, let me push it around this way. I'm making sure I'm getting in the seam of the bead here. Now this is a plate that I'm commissioned to paint for the Miss Norway pageant of Greater New York. So they wanted this nice galaxy blue background. I've done the plate for them for the last, oh, three or four years for their trophy. Uh, and that goes with the 17th of May celebration, which is Norwegian Constitution Day. And there is a parade in Brooklyn, New York for that. Uh, this is celebrated all across the country, um, and obviously in Norway. I mean, that's the big day. All right, so now I'm into the center. So if you notice, I went on one side first. I'm coming around here. I'm not too worried that I'm following the green, but I am pushing it in, and then I will come back and follow, and I keep working my way in towards the center. If I take my hand off and I flip, it will flip on me and I don't want that to happen. All right, I'm coming in, coming in, a little more. Here we go. And now I can come across the center and just work that paint in. And what a pretty color this is. Sometimes it appears that it looks uh, black, but it's not. It's just this beautiful galaxy blue color. All right, so after this, once it dries, I will do a light sanding with my fine sandpaper that I like to use. All right, this is a 440. Um, I will wet sand it, I will wipe it down, and then I will do a second coat of the Galaxy Blue with the glaze in it, put it on, let it dry, and then I will put a separate coat of just glaze on it before I paint, just to put a sealer on top of it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video, this quick prep of a plate. And again, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please message me below. Have a blessed day. Remember, it's just paint. And God bless.